Pinpoint Weather on NBC5 News is brought to you by the Cow Creek Umpqua Tribe. Hey, welcome back to ABC5. We had a viewer photo sent in from Port Orford over the weekend, seeing some snow on the beaches for them. Now, uh, this was sent in from Linda Foster. Thank you again for always sending in some great photos from our, uh, across our area, of, of course, with the snow on the coastline. Uh, we'll continue the chance for some rain and snow showers here for the next couple of days, and that uh, snow level will kind of be dropping, climbing, dropping, climbing, dropping, climbing, same kind of thing we saw over this weekend morning hours getting around 500 feet into the afternoon around 1500 to 2000 feet and again that goes through about Wednesday then those snow levels will be warming up into the end of this week and we're going to see some widespread precipitation moving in and that is good news snow levels will be climbing but we got a, a widespread rain event of course with a lot of that snow could cause some flooding concerns for parts of our area what we got going on in our area right now to Two low systems, one surface low down here in Northern California. Here is your main low up here towards Washington, and we're going to see that coverage of precipitation increasing as we're getting through today. The main low sticks around here as we're getting through Tuesday. It starts to push out west into Wednesday. Then our focus is going to be down here. Look at the plume of moisture that's going to be pushing into the west as we're getting into the end of this week, interacting with another low pressure system, and that's bringing in that heavier rainfall, that heavier precipitation across the west as we're getting through Thursday and Friday. And then this system clears out. We'll see a slight warm up this weekend. Nothing uh, too, nothing to brag about. We're still below that seasonal high where this time of year might see some additional chances of precipitation as we're heading into the start of next week. And again, snow levels the next few days doing this up and down kind of uh, getting up to around 1500 to 2000 feet in the afternoon hours by the morning hours, dropping off to around 500 feet. By the end of the week, we're looking at those snow levels climbing up to around 3000 feet Thursday, 4000 feet to 5000 feet as we're getting into this weekend with that warm up. Now forecast for today. Again, we're seeing that coverage of the scattered showers picking up into the later afternoon hours. About time you're getting off from work this afternoon. You kind of see that uh, activity out there. And of course, rain showers with the snow levels here possible in the valley. Uh, again, snow levels around 15 to 22,000 feet. As we get into the overnight hours, those snow levels drop off. So any precipitation likely going to be more of the uh, snowfall. And you see a better coverage as we're getting through to Tuesday, and this is going to be spreading out to the east. Again, that low pressure system pushing into the uh, into the uh, area, and with that bringing in that widespread precipitation. And then we'll likely see a break after Wednesday morning of that precipitation until we're getting into Thursday and Friday. But again, uh, looking at the snow potential, you're seeing amounts much higher to the west, especially along the coastal range where we could see some amounts getting over a foot of uh, snow. Uh, you're not. You're also seeing some higher amounts into Northern California, and then this really starts to fill in across the map for that Tuesday Wednesday event uh, with that low pressure system moving in. So the chance of rain and snow sticks around through Wednesday, then rain late Thursday into Friday clearing out for this weekend might see that cha chance returning by late Sunday. But look at the warm up. We're in the mid 40s still next few days, upper 40s, lower 50s for this weekend. Morning lows still holding off around freezing, but again, those snow levels will be much higher heading into this weekend. The Klamath Basin will see snow here for the next couple of days, at least that chance for snow. Then the wind speeds pick up Thursday, Friday. That next chance of rain and snow moves in late Thursday and Friday. And again, higher snow levels, meaning they have that potential for snow and also some rain. You're also seeing that for Northern California. Highs will be in the 40s, might even see some lower 50s for this weekend. And the coastline also getting into the lower 50s, but rain expected through the rest of this week.